We're playing a new game today. Everything I've been told about Hades indicates that it's going to be a ton of fun. It's the notion that we're um we're just like a rebellious teenage Hades. Is that the idea here? You shall never reach the surface. Go, see for yourself. Well, that sounds like a challenge. This doesn't feel above board, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like these gods are doing some shenanigans. I don't think Zeus and Athena have the best in mind for me. Is this Meg? Yes. Oh, god damn it. Oh! Okay, that's interesting. We're gonna have to check that out, but let's, uh, let's check this guy out first. Oh, wow, so Megara herself got you last time. That must have been intense. She's fast and strong and beautiful. And then, anyway, I hope the face... <laughs> you doing all right there, Hypnos? You doing all right? You, uh, seem a little, uh, little down, little down bad, maybe? Yeah, cool. So we get interesting little, like, extra bits of dialogue every time we, uh, you know, get a little bit further and then horribly die. I've known great men throughout my life, and I can always tell when someone's better than their circumstances. Fight like I'd fight out there. I guess he's trapped Even here too, right? Once did Achilles, though doubtless many of the shades who stand against me first arrived in Tartarus because of you. Yeah, so it's kind of your fault, Achilles, you prick. If you hadn't killed so many people, I wouldn't have had to deal with so many enemies down here. God damn it, Achilles. Jesus. Screwed everything up. What does dad have to say? Who's that sniveling shade to your immediate left there, father? Already found someone new to do the busy work. And here I thought I was... <laughs> I like the fact that they're wearing little hard hats. That's great. That shade boy is my newly designated contractor. Okay. One whose responsibility is to work on this house. Who shall pay for everything my subjects here demand? I do not know. Okay. I... My game mechanic sensors are tingling. So this is a way that we can provide upgrades to the hub. By spending presumably gems. Because gems is the one resource I haven't found a use for so far. Also, can I just point out, I just noticed this man's moustache. Holy crap. I figured that was a beard. That is a moustache that goes like this, and like this, and like this. That is... That is impressive. You're trying to guilt me into funding the exorbitant furnishings you desire. <laughs> I'm going to. It's going to give me game mechanics. Perhaps once we are finished with repairs for all the carnage you have sown throughout this my life. This guy's so fucking passive aggressive. Have time for all the needed renovations that have piled up. I wouldn't have any difficulty paying for the improvement of my subjects' lives if I didn't have to keep spending money on my idiot son. God damn it, Hades. Let's pet the dog again. Gonna have to pet him at least once every time we come back. Them's the rules. Nothing I can do about him. This is free. Restore some health amid the gloom. Okay, cool. So this adds a new chamber that can randomly spawn in Tartarus that heals me. I mean, it's completely free. There's no reason not to. This is this is just, you know, a foundational oh, thing, I guess. Fountain. Let's check if there's more, like, free things. This, this is all fucking aesthetic crap. I don't care about that. What? 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 Does this have any kind of actual... Benefit? I don't think it does, right? I think this is literally just cosmetic. Cool. It's a cool thing, but I'm not going to be spending gems on it anytime soon. Later in the game, it has benefits, not currently, though. Okay, cool. So we'll we'll figure that out. For now, I think it's definitely this infernal trove thing. Worth more the faster you slay the foes guarding them. Okay, that's really cool. Let's let's build that. What's this? What once was a small lounging area within the house of Hades now is sealed off in utter shambles since the multi-headed Cerberus tore the space apart, warning the missing prince. He's a good dog. He's Cerberus a good boy. Cerberus destroyed the lounge again. Which one's the lounge? Is this the lounge? I can't really tell. It doesn't look destroyed, but neither does anything else. I would guess that this is the lounge based on that description, but it doesn't look very destroyed, so Cerberus didn't do a very good job, did he? Unless he destroyed all the furniture, and that's why there isn't any. I heard lately from the goddess Athena, Nex. She seems to admire you. I thought Olympians didn't like our kind. They typically do not. But you are family, child. And I, why? I believed Athena wise enough to understand why someone such as I would seek her in particular. Hmm. She has in turn made others in her family aware. Well, I'm family, yeah, but so is Hades, right? And, I mean, the reason why I'm family is because Hades is family, right? So, she says, but you are family, so why would she n side with me over Hades? If the reasoning is family. I get, well, I guess, no, it does actually make sense, having said that. They don't get necessarily get on well with the brother, but they know that the brother's son is like, I kind of want to get out, can I come stay with you guys? So they're trying to support. Or, they're evil. I'm currently still thinking that they have some kind of ulterior motive. I'm, I'm not trusting those motherfuckers. Can't go trusting these gods. 
Met too many gods. Oh. Well, that seems like a no-brainer, right? Yeah, I was going to say, that price... That, that price has got to scale like hell, because if it's once per rank, my god. Yeah, that's a huge deal. And I don't have anywhere near enough keys, do I? No, I only have the one. So we're going to have to save up, because I don't think I can afford anything with only one key. Can I talk to you? Oh, I can. Nice place you got here, boyo. Name Skelly has it going, but enough with the smart talk already. I'm here to do a job. So let me have it. Give me everything you got. I don't remember having you on payroll, mate. Who's your supervisor? Oh, I'm not about to wrap my sources, pal. He just shows up. What? He's like, I'm here to be helpful to you. And I'm like, I'm not paying you. And he's like, ah, ha, ha, I'm not telling you who's paying me. I'm like, this is a bizarre situation. What? I mean, obviously, it's just, you know, it's a game mechanic, right? We're going to stick with the sword. Bone might be interesting, but for now, sword is definitely what I'm most comfortable with. Oh, this is... Uh, from here, I can see, like, the route through Tartarus, I guess. That's cool. That's cool. And the furthest chamber reaches 15. Feels like Hades could deal with all of these problems by just closing this bloody window, but you know, guess that's too much effort for him. Darkness. Attempt number three, guys. That looks like a Daedalus hammer. Daedalus hammer? What? I would guess that's a special weapon. So maybe you don't just get buffs; you get other things as well. Enchantments for my weapon. Oh no! Okay, it's just a different symbol. Cool. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I love effects like this. I love, love, love vampirism effects in roguelikes. It is one of my absolute favorite buffs. This could be a very short, put it this way, every time I go for a vampirism effect in a roguelike, it either results in an incredibly long run or an incredibly short one. No exceptions, nothing in between. Like, that is just how we go. 20 health is not a lot, is it? The question is whether it affects max health boosts, right? If it doesn't, then that seems like a, an absolute no-brainer because you only have low health for a little while. Because if, if I get 25 health and get to have all 25 of that health, suddenly most of the downside is gone. So I would assume it's going to proportionally affect the health I gain as well. So instead of gaining 25, I gain 10. So now coins or Athena... That's the Athena symbol, right? Although last time it had a ring around it, which is interesting. Let's try it. Let's see, because that is slightly different. Have I taken a single hit yet? I'm a god. Look at this. I'm an absolute beast. My word. Nothing can nothing can take me. You're nothing. Yeah, you're nothing, bud. Even just from these couple of runs, I'm starting to actually understand what's going on going on on screen a little bit better. I've never been super great at like bullet hell style games, you know, where there's a lot of projectiles or whatever. So I am definitely going to struggle with that, but for now it seems to be going okay. Your father Hades and my father Zeus have not communicated in some time, and Zeus refuses to explain. Something transpired between the two of them. Perhaps you know better than I. I don't know why. I don't know if it's some subconscious knowledge I have about Greek myth, or if it's just the way they've been presented in this game. But I definitely trust Athena more than the other Olympians. No one knows what the fuck is going on with Zeus. Zeus is, Zeus is an absolute maniac. Dionysus just seemed like he kind of wanted to get drunk, which makes sense. Either Athena is like super fucking evil and being really manipulative, or I think she's being honest. And I actually don't know which one's which. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go with the regular attack, um, because that's the one which gives me health back. So yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna be spamming attack this time. We're going all in on attacks. Let's go for keys. I kind of want to unlock some shit with keys because some of the key unlocked lo unlocks looked interesting. I want to know what the other buffs are. Ooh, there we go. Well, that's a bunch of damage now, isn't it? Oh my God. Yeah, no, this is, this is crazy. Obviously it's gonna become more of an issue once we get to an area where there are enemies which can deal more damage to me. But if these guys are just dealing fucking four, I mean, hell, even these guys dealing 10. Ooh, five, five significant, but I can get it back there. I'm at full health again. Jesus Christ, this vampirism ability seems insane. Okay, so this is a temporary buff. I know, uh, not, no, not a temporary buff, sorry. This is a permanent buff. I know this. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna check this out. As, as good as pomegranates are, I'm more interested in figuring out what all the symbols mean. Oh, Ares. It's a blessing of Ares. Okay, that makes sense. Should have guessed that, because they're all in the same kind of design, aren't they? I mean, we're gonna go for this, because I don't, I don't really use cast. I'm not, I'm kind of leaving cast to the side for now. We'll, We'll figure this stuff out, but yeah, I, I am actually dashing, whereas I'm not really casting, so we're, we're gonna go with dash, uh, and we'll figure out what this is. I was kind of hoping for something that buffed my regular attack, so we can, like, you know, just go mad for buff stacking. EM4 time, wish me luck, lads, no spoilers. Okay, I have no idea what EM4 is. I would guess that that is either a zone or a boss. 
Cool, yeah, it just, it just leaves a damaging thing behind. I feel like that thing which gives you bonus damage after a death to fight is primarily used for, like, giving you a buff when you're, you're planning to fight a boss. Oh my god, 5 HP. That's a whole three hits. That is huge. What? 29? I've gained a total of 40 darkness over the entire run so far, so... 29 for the low cost of 22 coins, that's kind of huge. And now I think there's only one exit to this room, so we get to see what this symbol means. I assume it means coins, but given that so far I've never felt short of coins, I'm intrigued to know what else this might be. Does a blade rift deflect projectiles? Unclear. Oh no, my regular attack does, right? That was part of the buff. Oh, motherfucker, okay, that was a lot. Need to get a lot of hits in now. Oh, I can knock them back. Are you joking? Okay, it's just a hundred. Sure. Take it. Hundred coins. This is fine. That's probably one of the least, uh, one of the least, one of the less useful upgrades, I would say, based on my very limited knowledge so far. Is this another god? That might be. Who's the fucking archer? Don't know. Okay, I I don't know what that means, but it sounds very scary. Oh, that's a lot of goddamn damage. Oh, okay, so it connects to the stones, and then those generate lines. I, my health is going to be fluctuating so goddamn wildly over the course of this fight, my word. Can I just spam attack it? Because I'm regaining health almost as fast as it's damaging me. Okay, let's, let's try and deal with some of these Doomstones, because it's getting a bit excessive now. Oh my god, that did so much. What the hell? Fucking hell. Okay, I'm just, I'm just going to not pay attention to my health. I think I just need to sort of focus on, because I'm getting a shitload of health back by hitting multiple Stony Boys, right? That's how it feels. Yes, yeah, so they form a network. This is interesting. Bam. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Vampirism was insane there. That was absolutely bonkers. Like, my health was just going up and down like a yo-yo. Jesus, what? There's only one heavenly archer I know of. Well, yes, so I don't remember who the archer anyway, is. In the name of Hades, Olympus, the Hades, fucking hunter. Hades. What's Artemis? It's going to be Artemis, right? I heard about you. Yep. Look, I'm not like all the others on Olympus. The power of the hunt helps keep me company, so maybe it'll help you too. Cool. Seems good. What kind of blessings do we get from her? As much as I am loving the regular attacks and the vampirism that comes with it, that is gargantuan. What the fuck? 76% bonus damage. Flat. With a 20% chance for double damage. Uh, sorry, not not double. That's triple, right? Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go with this. We're gonna go with this. God damn. I just need to get used to the fact that this doesn't deflect anymore because I don't have. Last time it did deflect because I had the buff. Whereas now it's my regular attack that deflects. Yeah. So we need to do regular attacks to get health back. I think. Let's test this. Oh, let's. No, I need to take damage to test it, and I don't want to take damage. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. I only get health back on regular attacks. That's an important detail. So what we can do is we can use our special when we're not missing health and regular when uh, when we are. I'm going to have to actually think now. This is madness. I didn't have to do that before. Again, vampirism just seems completely fucking busted. I'm intrigued to see how we do against Meg with, uh, with vampirism. Oh my god, slain foes have a chance to give me health. <laughs> vampirism really does just invalidate so much of this shit, right? Okay, obviously this is a gargantuan damage boost, right? This is absolutely enormous. But I want to know what an infernal trove is. I don't know. Yeah, fuck it. I don't know what an infernal trove is, and I would quite like to know. So it means the next room is guaranteed to be an infernal trove. And yeah, let's check out what this symbol means now. Oh, it's a shop. So this is why money's really important. Although the things in those little shops are cheap, this one isn't. 150 is a lot. Uh, what do you have to say? Gah! Ah, of course, of course. Good point. Well made. Not much for conversation. That's fair. Man's got a job to do and he, uh, he wants to do it. Okay, 101. Uh, we, we're going to take the power up, obviously. Let's boost. Let's boost the regular attack. I feel like going there is good. I feel like that's just a preference thing, right? I don't think one of those is necessarily a better plan than the other. Trove is in the room after. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I figured, because it says when, when possible, it will summon a trove. And presumably this is one of the rooms which can't have a trove in it, right? It's just the shop. Oh, no, never mind. This is a fountain chamber. So the trove will be the next room there. <laughs> oh, look. I can come in here to heal all of my... No missing health, so it heals 20%. Cool. Okay, so this will be debuffed, right? However, I feel like 20 HP at the moment is a little low. I think I want to get to like maybe 30 or 40 
at that point, I can get into situations where I take a lot of damage, but then can still recover from it, right? Like taking 20 damage seems quite feasible, whereas taking 30 or 40 seems much less feasible. So I feel like getting a couple of these sooner rather than later is a big deal. So this is a trove, right? And what it said was kill the enemies quickly. Uh, I don't actually know how that works. Is this, am, am I doing it? I don't know. How do I tell that this is a trove room? Oh, you can tell it's a trove room because there's a giant trove here. Plus 10 max HP, that is a big deal. Oh, no, okay, I see, I see. It's not the room itself. You just find a trove and can then take on the trial. Let's go. Is this thing just gonna kill me? Why are you gonna fucking die here? Let's deal with the big guy later. Can you guys just fucking die, please? Thank you. Yeah, if I'm going for the one shot, one kill, I should really be using my special, shouldn't I? Because that deals so much more damage. Can I? Can you just die, please? That one was pissing me off. There we go. Boom! That's quite easy! Fucking easy! Although I only got 39 gold. <laughs> So apparently, I didn't kill it quite as quickly as it would have hoped. Do we go to 40? I'm trying to remember how much damage Meg did. She was doing 12, right? 12 per hit? I kind of want the blessing. Is 30 good enough? Yeah, fuck it. No. Nope. All offense, no defense. Let's go. Excuse me, lads. Hope you don't mind me. Oh, fuck. That's a trap. Okay, I do need to attack a little bit. Dump my health back. You're kidding me. That was everything in... What? Why was this room so shit? I want my health. God damn it. These are all quite bad. I was hoping for a buff to one of my existing ones. I mean, these seem fine. Cast has an AoE and can deflect. That seems pretty solid. Bronze skin obviously is just perfectly fine. Abilities that can deflect also make foes exposed. So basically, my regular attack now means the enemies take bonus damage when struck from behind. That feels like that's not going to come up very often. I'm going to go for Phalanx Shot. Okay, cool. Now we can go get the, get the extra health. Oh, we just get it for free. Yeah, so this is Interesting. So the room before Meg isn't a battle. You just get the thing. Okay. Meg time. I'm back, Meg. <sighs> and we're stubborn, aren't you? Maybe my whip might make you reconsider whatever it is that you're attempting here. She sounds like she has a sore throat. Your whip's not been all that persuasive in the past. <laughs> I, I don't feel anything. I'm just, I'm just some dickhead sitting here with a controller. You whipping me means absolutely nothing. It just makes numbers go up on the screen. I'm going to keep coming back. Maybe persistence will pay off for both of us. Come then. Okay, so let's see how much of a difference Van Proven makes to this fight. Well, I already fucked it. I think, honestly, once she starts summoning more enemies, it's going to get better because it's going to be easier to get regular attacks off on them than it is on her. Okay, so we want to go for specials on her because any crit that I get on her is going to be absolutely gargantuan. Yeah, so get, get in for one attack and then get out seems like a big deal. I mean, look at this. See what I mean? I'm just going to get a shitload of health back from regular enemies. Oh, I need to I need to probably not attack the regular enemies, right? Cuz I want to then I want to be um I want to be using them as health batteries. That's the, that's the plan. Impervious? Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. What are you doing? Oh. I thought she was going to do her giant AoE spin yeah, this shit. Blast that crap back at her if I can. Can I get to full, please? No, fuck off, mate. Thank you. Appreciate the health batteries. Oh, shit. That doesn't seem good. Oh my god, she was doing a lot of damage to me there. God damn it. Can I have some health, please, sir? Excuse me. I only get two back per hit, and I took a lot from that. Okay. Yeah, spam attacking against that doesn't actually seem that good. I do actually need to target my attacks. Okay, now we can focus on Meg again. We're basically back to four now. Excuse me, sir. I just want to get up to full. I was missing one there, I think. Nope, fuck off. <laughs> okay, I can at least identify her attacks now, which feels pretty good. Okay, that... Uh, God damn it, don't turn my back. Turning my back just seems like a terrible plan. Okay, now hit them, hit them, hit them all, hit them all, give me my health. Fuck off. This vampirism ability is so fucking broken, man. I should not be uh, doing as well as I'm doing. Hey, sir. 
Appreciate your assistance. Hey, that was a crit. Hear me on my authority. I don't know what that means. We going to phase two? We got a phase two now? Woo! I didn't see what she did. Okay. Okay. Oh, fucking hell. She was actually aiming at me there. Took my eyes off her to focus on my health, which I shouldn't have done. Yep. Give me health back, please. The further away from her I am, the better. In these situations. Stunlock you. Stunlock you, sir. Thank you. Okay, we're good. I just basically have to take little breaks in this uh, in this fight to um, to get my shit back. Every time she uh, gets solid a solid wave of hits off on me. Oh, sorry. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, fuck. Back up so we can deflect more easily. Missing a small amount of health. That's fine. Two hits. We're good. Oh, I should not be trying to attack when. I should not be. I, sh I need. To, this is a counter attack, right? We need to be going for counter attacks, not regular attacks. Kind of a big deal. Oh, what the? What the fuck? Okay, that's a thing. Is that just gonna keep going? No, good. That's just one attack. I was like, shit, because that's that's a hell of a difficulty spike if that just if that's just permanent now. One lash is not enough. Apparently not. I am dealing a lot of damage to her. I just noticed. I think it's the or I think it's the bloody crits, right? Oh no. Nope. Let's not fuck around. Can you just take a shitload of damage, please? That was a crit. That was pretty fucking good. Hey, Meg. I feel like I'm kind of owning her, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Again, it is 100%. 110% the fucking vampirism. It is so fucking busted. Oh, there we go. Fury vanquished. And now I gain Blob, Bounty Claimed, Titan Blood, Battle Out of Tartarus with the Stygian Blade. Okay, so that's like an achievement thing. And I guess I'll get a different one when I use different weapons. Cast can also deflect projectiles. I did completely forget that. You're absolutely right. Easy. That was too fucking easy. Yeah, vamp vampirism's broken. <laughs> like, so broken. Oh my god. Obviously, we're going to start running into issues when we run into enemies who deal more damage per hit. But for now, that was crazy good. Because obviously, my health is going to scale. But what isn't going to scale is my restoration, right? The amount that I restore. Yeah, vampirism is going to get worse and worse and worse as time goes on. Okay. Oh, How did you Hades. <laughs> Don't mind me, father. Yeah, screw you, dad. Restore 8 HP. <laughs> I'm some kind of pleb who can't restore health on my own. Oh, you can sell. I don't think I necessarily want to. 47 HP. That is a lot more HP than I can afford. Or I can cast twice for the next six rooms. Well, given how frequently I have cast in the previous rooms, I think I'm going to go for the random item. I'm going to go for the mystery box. What do I get? Okay, we got another treasure trove. So that's basically just giving me my money back, except... Based on my performance in the previous trove, I probably can't earn enough to make my money back on that one. Given that we blasted our way through Meg, I feel like now is actually a pretty decent point to make the end of the next YouTube video. So, two videos, one zone. This game's gonna take, like, what, ten videos? It's just gonna be plain sailing from here. Meg was clearly the hardest boss, so we just need to keep going, keep powering through. I'll probably beat it on this run. And if you want to see me do that, then don't necessarily click on the next video. I've been saying that too much. What I'm going to say is if you click on the subscribe button, you'll get told when the next video shows up and you'll be able to check it out then. So do that. Hey guys, just popping in at the end of the video to let everyone know that I have a Discord now. Link is in the description if you want to join the Discord. That's where we're going to be doing all kinds of like announcements and stuff related about things relating to the channel. If you want to catch me live, there'll be notifications on that, all that other good stuff. And if you want to just join the community and chat, then that works too. So that's an option. It's down there. Check it out.